Hi everybody. Today there is not a new plugin because the new plugin just needs some more time. But I have some fixes and new features for you. So let's start with the black light modulation, which is a corrected typo here. It now says modulation and not module tie-on or what I wrote before. And another terminology is that if we now choose the tempo synced to uh, to one bar maybe it now says triplet and not triolic and even the word triolic wasn't spelled right here and while we're talking about this um, tempo synced thing um, there was the report that this wasn't saved correctly. So if you um, save your project and open it again, it always set to the time um, that was set with the speed knob and not to the um, bar sync thing. And that of course is corrected now. Then there was um, the suggestion um, that it would be nice to have a um, quick access to 180 for the shift R. So it's now alt clicking for 180. And for those um, who forget this, it's uh, in the info field. Set shift R to 180, alt click. Someone wrote it would be nice to have a square shape. And, um, well, it's called flip in this plugin because actually if you um, look at the LEDs, maybe for the tremolo, you see flip, 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 flip. And while we're talking about this square shape, um, Every shape that has a big jump from maybe um, 1 to minus 1 or the um, these ramping things here, um, which has a jump from uh, 1 to minus 1. We can see that better if we shift it. Um, all these jumps have now fades on them, so we have no clicking audio. There were already fades before. Um, but they were so short that they maybe could cause a click. So now let's go on with the green dynamic EQ. And this had some problems with the threshold uh, dial over here um, that wasn't behaving correctly depending on the zoom size or if you had ultra high definition display or um, retina displays, um, this wasn't scaled correctly. So. This is fixed now. You can now use the threshold correctly on every machine. And yes, of course, the word sensitivity is now corrected to sensitivity. And there is one new feature. And this is you can choose sidechain inputs for the dynamics section now. So over here, you can choose if you want the internal signal. So that with the signal that is processed itself. Or you can choose from five different sidechain inputs. This, of course, looks funny now in the pin mapping here. Um, so we have the input 1 and 2 for the signal itself. And then again, uh, 10 more inputs for the sidechains. And another option here is that we now can solo the sidechain. So in the dynamics section, we can always solo the sidechain. And in the regular section, we can solo the signal um, for the band. And with Alt and click, we can solo the sidechain from the uh, main interface. Then there was this um, report that every time um, the plugin was saved and reopened uh, in a session, that this um, knob jumps to 24 dB. But, um, well, I couldn't reproduce it, nor could it anyone else. So I think the um, person who reported the bug could maybe have an issue with a MIDI controller or automation lane. But of course, if I find a reason um, that could be depending on the code, I will fix that then. Then there was this report um, that the bypass knob on this um, purple gate and expander plugin uh, doesn't really bypass and leaves distorted audio. Well, I couldn't reproduce that. The person wrote um, that this happens in expander mode. So I set that to, to um, expander mode and clicked bypass and well, it worked. I recognized um, that the bypass is not correct in delta mode. So I fixed that. Then there was this um, question uh, about the NC76 series 2, which was about the um, external and internal sidechain problem, was it called? 
well, I read. When the external sidechain gets the exact same signal like the internal one, you can do that with these pins, and the big in-gain knob on the left is higher or lower than the initial value, and then you enable or disable the button labeled sidechain key, you hear significant level changes, which makes no sense to me, because it's the exact same signal they should get. And now the question, is that intended behavior? And if so, what does it mean? Well, yes, this is intended behavior. Because on units like these, you have um, a fixed threshold in the unit itself, and you would boost the incoming signal against this threshold, so, you gain, uh, so we get gain reduction here, and then maybe you would attenuate a bit the output gain to match the, um, the output level with the input level. Now, if we have a sidechain input, we need to boost the sidechain against the threshold so the, um, the processed audio is not boosted in the first place. You need to boost it later in the output gain. And guess what? It's not an update. It was already there. If you click sidechain key, this knob is now called sidechain gain. If we disengage that, it's input gain. Sidechain gain, input gain. So this is intended because of the architecture of these um, units that we have the input gain to drive a signal uh, against the threshold. So that's it for today. More bug finds are still welcome. We're still in better phase. And I hope you still have fun with the plugins. And bye bye.